Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Most of the stuff is going to be Harry Potter stuff which I'm really excited about but I do have a couple of other odds and ends here and there. So if you guys are interested then just keep on watching. Alrighty so let's start off with these little figurines. Um, by the way I'm filming on top of these huge uh, storage bins. Yeah. I needed more because of my Halloween decor that I got this year. That's right. That's how crazy I went this year. Shopping. I don't understand. I even told myself I would not shop for any more decor and look at me now. Oh, I... Anyways. All right. Back to the little figurines. They have these adorable little Harry Potter. Um, what are they called? Vinyl figures. I think they're called like mini Funkos or something. Um, oh yeah, Funko minis right there. Very, very cute. I got Ron last year, I believe. And since then, it was so difficult to find any of the other ones. The only other one that I kept finding was Snape, but I never got him. And as you can see here, you have eight that you can collect. So as I said, I already have Ron. He's actually in my Harry Potter room currently. That video will be coming up soon. So um, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on that video. Um, but now I have Harry Potter, which this guy was the hardest to find. He was the only one that I could find, like of all of the five and below's that I checked. So I don't know if they're just making him super rare or if everyone just goes for Harry Potter. I don't know. But here's this guy, and they're numbered. So this is 91. 92 is the Hungarian Horntail. Look at that. Ferocious, but still so cute. Then we have Hermione. So adorable. I just love how they look. They look so cute with their big eyes absolutely adorable so she's 93 ronald was 94 let's go to 95 which is luna look how adorable look at her little pose with her arms like that so cute then we have the thestral And 97 is Professor Snape. I ended up getting him anyways, even though I passed him up several times because I just wanted the whole collection. This is my first collection that I actually have like everything of. I've never like fully collected anything, so that was pretty exciting. So here's Snape in the same pose as Luna. And then lastly, we have a Dementor. Sorry about the glare from the plastic, but that's him. And then I did get some books. So the first book is this unofficial Harry Potter word search, which is really exciting. Really fun to do, especially if you're traveling, you know, on the plane, on the way to work, school. The, on the way to work, as in, like, if, if you're not driving, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Anyways, uh, these are by category. It's really nice. I like this. And I'll just go ahead and do the two non-Harry Potter things. So this first one um, is The Greatest Mysteries of the Unexplained. Uh, I love stuff like this. Like if you've seen any of my other book hauls or anything, um, I actually do have another book haul which I don't know if I'm posting that first or this, but either way, I'll link it for you guys. But I love like mysterious things like this, like conspiracy theories and like murder mysteries and superstitions and stuff like that. I think it's so interesting. So I got that and I'll give you a little flip through. And here is the conspiracy theory one.
really cool. So these are all pretty like short chapters. I don't even know if you can call it a chapter. Like the Agatha Christie one is literally just that to read. And I thought every night, you know, before bed, I can just um, read it with my husband and then we can discuss it or something, you know, just something fun, something interesting to do. So there are those. And then last but not least, we have this unofficial Harry Potter spell book, which I purely got it for the look of it because I'm pretty sure I already have something like this, but it's purple. So I don't know if there's a difference or if it's just the cover that's different. Um, I'm not sure, but there's this guy. Really, really cool. I've mentioned before that I absolutely love Disney villains, so I thought I would include some of my new Disney villain finds in this haul as well. This first item is a pop figure, and I actually got it as a gift for my sister, and this is the evil queen on her peacock throne. Last year I actually did a tiered tray that was themed Snow White and the evil queen, so I think this will be perfect. I was able to find these next four items from Books A Million, and these are everything. I absolutely love these artworks. These actually came out as backpacks a couple of years ago and I remember thinking why do they not have wall art that looks like this and sure enough several years later they came out with wall art and I actually got I think the first three, um, all of them except Ariel and I was like, I need the set. And we happened to be in another state at the time. And I was like, let me just go ahead and look. And that state happened to have just one books a million in the entire state, which was crazy. And they literally had one Ariel left. There was no other prints or anything. It was just Ariel, just one single print left. And I was so excited. These are actually like printed on wood, I feel. They're, they're pretty heavy duty. So I, I was ecstatic when I found these. I've also previously hauled these mugs, but I thought I would go ahead and haul these in this haul because of course these are Disney villains. So these I actually found in Home Goods, I believe. They were $9.99 and I got the Evil Queen and it has an apple stir. And then Maleficent had a dragon stir. And then I found Ursula at Marshall's and she of course had a seashell stir. I will make sure to include the link for the entire mug haul in the description box below, so make sure to check that out. And I actually did an unboxing for this backpack, this Loungefly backpack, um, I think several months ago actually. And again, I will link that video down below. But again, this went with the theme perfectly. This of course is an Evil Queen Loungefly backpack. It is probably one of my most favorite Loungefly backpacks. So if you want a more in-depth review, I would make sure to check that video out. Alrighty, you guys, so that concludes this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.